Good morning, ESM. I'm Tanner. Today is the second day of Pride Week, so we'll be focusing, focusing on the uh, R in Pride, which stands for respect. But first, we'll turn it over to Anthony with our daily news. On January 21st, 2021, Hakeem Robinson killed 84-year-old Eva Fluid after stabbing her 43 times. Her body was found four days later in her Grant Village apartment. Hakeem was found guilty of her murder. The court is just still deciding how long he'll serve time for his sentence continue, for his sentence continues. The Foo Fighters perform at 7.30 tomorrow at the St. Joseph's Amphitheater. This is their first return to Syracuse since 2000 when they took the landmark stage. COVID restric restrictions are st still being enforced with a proof of vaccination or COVID test required at the door. As St. Joseph's is most, mostly leaving COVID restrictions up to the discretion of the Performing Act, Foo Fighters are one of the taking the extra slow. Yesterday, Shang-Chi and the Legend of Ten Rings collected 35.8 million in ticket sales at second sales at its second weekend, good enough to make the best second weekend gross of any, of any film during the pandemic. It's currently playing exclusively in theaters and in two weeks of release, it's grossed 247.6 million globally. Shang-Chi, the first Marvel movie to star an Asian superhero, is on course to become the top summer release as at the North American box office. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Respecting teachers, staff, and the classroom are crucial parts at school. When in the classroom, it's important to listen to the teacher when they're speaking and sometimes respond to show you understand or ask questions when you need things clarified. Although they may be things we stray away from, they, are, they make a big difference in the long run. Remember your teachers are people too. They have days off and go through tough times just like anyone else, so please be considerate of them. In class, make sure you follow directions or rules to keep people safe and get work done correctly especially if you're in any science classroom where you do experiments which things that can be potentially harmful to the people around you. Carelessness can lead to injury and even put you behind. If you make sure you're respecting your surroundings and those trying to teach, you make your life all that much easier and it, will be, it won't be perfect, but it'll definitely help in the long run. And now we'll turn to Grayson with our weather. Today, on Tuesday, we will have a high, high of, high, of, high of 78 degrees and a low of 68 degrees. Today, we will have some sun with some intervals of sun throughout the day. In the afternoon and midday range, we will have a chance for some storms and showers. Tonight, we will have some heavy rainstorms with some strong and gusty winds with even some hail. Tomorrow, on Wednesday, we will have a high of 75 and a low of 60 degrees. Wednesday, we'll have some scattered showers and storms. Thursday, we'll have a high of 79 and a low of 69 degrees, and Thursday will be sunny with some spotty rainstorms. Friday and Saturday, we'll have highs of 82 and lows of 62 degrees, and we'll mainly have some spotty showers. Sunday and Monday, we'll have highs around 84 and lows around 64 degrees. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. An important part of respect is remembering it can be, can be given to anyone, not just teachers or those in authority. We should respect each other too. Or showing respect to your classmates is about acceptance or differences. You leave completely different lives with completely different beliefs, thoughts, cultures, hobbies, and among a whole bunch of other things that vary. Speaking of respect, let's show respect to our hardworking athletes and head over to sports with Aiden. The golf team lost 225 to 122 yesterday against JD. Zach Johnson had the lowest score with 38. The varsity tennis team defeated Fulton on Saturday to improve their record to 2-2. Two and two. Winning for the team was the first doubles duo of Jesse Baker and Angelina Baxter. Second double duo of Rhiannon Axman and Bella Sylvester. Third double, du 
doubles duo of Emily Murnain and Dhruvi Patel, and fourth doubles duo of Margaret Madding and Stella Nussie. Winning singles was third singles player Abby Kane. Last night, the Las Vegas Raiders beat the Baltimore Ravens 33-27 as Derek Carr's 31-yard walk-off touchdown pass to Zay Jones was enough to put the Ravens away in overtime. Derek Carr finished the night with 34 completed passes and 435 passing yards. And Darren, Darren Waller led the team with 10 receptions and 105 receiving yards. Tonight at 5.30, the gymnastics team has a home meet against New Hartford. Tennis has a match against Oswego at home at 4.30. Field hockey plays at Homer at 5.30. Girls soccer plays at Syracuse City at 6.30. Boys volleyball play at JD at 6.30. And boys soccer has their first home game against Fowler at 6.30. And I'm Aiden with your sports. That's all we have today on our second topic of Pride Week, respect. So for me and everybody here else at the morning show, have a great Tuesday.